Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before whatever is about to go down, before I explain what's gonna happen, I just wanna say thank you to everyone that recently subscribed to me. Uh, stick to the end of this video. I'm gonna be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I know it's a little bit late, but I do wanna give back to you guys and uh, no strings attached. Um, I'll be explaining how to enter at the end of this video and what you guys will be potentially winning. But now in the meantime, let's jump back to what is happening with this Camaro. So uh, I, I noticed when I was going to transfer the title, uh, there was one number that was missing at the very front of the VIN. So they missed that one. The rest of the VIN was correct, but they wouldn't let me transfer the title, obviously, just because it could potentially be something like a stolen car, uh, for instance. Um, hopefully that's not the case. The previous owner, I you know trust them a lot that this wouldn't be the case, but you never know. They might have not known that this was stolen when they bought it, when they transferred it over by accident. Um, it could have just been the same VIN number or the VIN uh, as well. So yeah, it's just from 91 and on is when the title uh, bureau actually was able to pull the title back to see when there was a title discrepancy. So somewhere in between from when this car was first titled until 91, someone accidentally forgot to put a one in the front of the VIN. So what I have to do is go down to the Ohio State Highway Patrol, get this inspected. I also had to get, get um, the Jaguar inspected, which I already did already. So I'm gonna have to hurry up, load this up, uh, go down to the, the place again, the Ohio uh, State Highway Patrol, have them inspect it, go over everything, and they have to look for a bunch of different numbers, sets of numbers. They're not, they're not letting me look um, or watch them while they do this. So I don't know the exact process. I'm gonna try to get some video footage of that in order to get my title transferred over. It happened the same thing with the Jaguar. If you haven't watched my first video on the barn find, um, the Jaguar XK was missing a one um, as well just recently, which I just went and that was all fine. Corrected that today. So hopefully this is the same, but I know this, this car, uh, these Camaros, they were stolen a lot back in, you know, the early um, 90s and everything. People would just lo love to steal this car and uh, even earlier than that, obviously. But even till today, the people steal these second gens all the time. So I'm kind of nervous about this. I It's either I'm going to be bringing this car home or I'm going to be leaving it there to get impounded. Um, it's all gamble at this point. And uh, that's, you know, kind of my fault of mine to begin with because I should have checked the VIN a little bit closer but I just saw the rest of the numbers were just matched up and I just, I didn't see the one any, it, at the beginning either um, that it wasn't on the, the title. So, you know, you just get excited and everything like that. And sometimes you miss a couple of things, but I checked everything else out and everything else was fine, but we'll see, uh, cross your fingers. So, you know, everything goes smooth on this one as well, but let's get this thing started up and uh, dragged on the trailer because I got to get moving now before I get late. Don't forget to stay around for the end of the video and uh, I'll show you guys what you'll be potentially winning one week from now. All right, so let's get started.
So luckily this passed. It was just a missing digit, so they just forgot the one, like I kind of suspected. Either way, very nerve-wracking process, and I am glad it's over, but I can finally get back to working on the car and uh, knocking some things out and getting back on the road. Alright guys, so after a very long day, let's get to this 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So don't pay attention to any of my car. Um, it is filthy again from hauling it on the trailer and getting everyone pretty much touching it and getting the inspection process done. There's grit and grime everywhere, so I have to wash it again. But anyway, um, to kind of digressing, but so this is what you're going to be getting. Step one, all you have to do is leave a comment below in the comment uh, section. Just of anything, you know, it could be just don't double up but because that won't count but just leave one comment uh it could be anything you want and uh, that'll automatically be um, entering you into winning this so you're going to be getting uh, two of these plush towels microfiber towels some solution finish some insulator uh colonite 845 wax this is my favorite wax for the money all you have to do is kind of trick to whoever gets it if you've never used this before it's pretty warm out here now so you can hear it's in its liquid form but if it's cooler out, uh, just put it in some warm water and you could either use it as a spray bottle, spray wax, or just apply it like a normal wax as well, depending on how warm you get it. Um, some applicator for the solution finish and, uh, or you could use it as the wax and then just a cheaper microfiber towel that came with these applicators. No, it's not that much looking, but it, you know, this comes out of my pocket and, uh, I'm not sponsored by anyone. So this is strictly just, uh, buying this stuff myself, so I'm not sponsored by anyone. This is just kind of the products that I like to use on, you know, your typical car. You can use a solution finish on any black trim. Yeah, I, th I figured I'd just, you know, give something back to you guys since you guys are so cool at uh, commenting and uh, it helps that, you know, if you're subscribed and everything, I could do a little bit more bigger giveaways and, you know, that really helps pay off, but I'm not gonna hold you to it. If you're not subscribed and you just leave a comment, um, that's fine too. That'll be free shipping paid by me. This is completely free. So one week from today, I'll be cutting off all comments. So starting from this upload date until one week from now exactly, I'll be doing the uh, cutting off the comments and then the day after that will be the winner announcement. So I just gotta get some time to um, put that video up. Um, it's gonna be a fair process. It's gonna be automatically generated using an automatic random picker from a comment. Just happy this is over. I'm beyond tired right now. It was like 90 some degrees out today. So I'm just sweating all day long. Uh, but I'm happy that this Camaro is actually not stolen. I didn't think it was going to be, but it, it was it was nerve wracking. So uh, they almost didn't let me in because I was uh, a little bit late. Uh, so, oh, well, they want to argue with them because, you know, you don't want to you don't want to argue with someone like that that has holding that over your head that could say, hey, this bin doesn't doesn't look right. They could jack you around. So I didn't want to do any of that stuff, just want to get in, get out, and uh, not have any hassle. Once again, I appreciate everyone. Also, make sure you comment for this uh, giveaway. So, really appreciate it, and uh, see you guys in the next one.